What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So for today's topic, we are going to talk about how to select geometry and data using Dynamo from your Revit model. Alright, so after finishing our basic uh, knowledge on how Dynamo works, so we are now going to apply that to our uh, Revit model. Alright, so let's get started. So the file that I'm going to open here is just a sample file so that you'll be able to follow as well. So I'm going to select sample files. And then let's say I'm going to select here uh, RSD Advanced Sample Project Revit Structure. So I'm going to open that. All right. Now the... First thing that we're going to do, of course, we need to run our Dynamo. So I'm going to select Manage here, and then Dynamo. Just click that one, and then let's play around on what are the things that we can use to select elements from our Revit model to our Dynamo uh, environment. So I'm going to create a new project. <clears throat> all right, so all the things, all the nodes that we will be using for, uh, for our uh, exercise for us to be able to tap the Revit model of course you'll be able to find that on our Revit library all right so let's get started by selecting an element or data from our Revit model so as you can see from our uh, Revit library there is this uh, selection category if you click that you'll be able to see heaps of uh, nodes that we can use for us to be able to select elements from our Revit model. So let's say, for example, I'm going to use here select model elements. So let us just try to use some of the nodes here, not all, and then uh, you'll be able to have your chance for you to explore at your own pace. All right, so I'm just going to select a few of the nodes here in this exercise. So let's start with select model elements i'm going to click that so as you can see it's still colored yellow because nothing is selected now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, minimize or restore down my revit dynamo environment for me to be able to see my revit model here as well all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select here select and then what will happen is Revit will give you a chance for you to select an element here in your Revit environment. So you just need to select your select and then you go to your Revit. So let's say for example, I'm interested with the column, one column, or let's say for example, this one, the foundation. So I'm going to click that. And then as you can see, after you click, your select model element node is now gray. And you can see here the uh, element ID and then the type. So if you're going to click that, you will notice that there's a green colored around the, the element ID. So which means that this is a Revit element. Now, the next thing that you may want is that you want to place this element in your Dynamo. So let's say, for example, you want to study that particular geometry. You want to model something from that geometry. So the next thing that you may want to do is to put that selected element here on our Dynamo. And since it's already selected, the next thing that we're going to do to place it here in our Dynamo environment is to get another node. So I'm going to look for elements. Revit library, look for elements, just click that, and then look for element again, and then here you go. So you can use these tools for you to be able to uh, select an element. So like for example, you want to select the geometry, which is what we want, or for example, you, you want to get the location of that particular geometry. You want to get a parameter from that particular geometry. Okay, so it's up to you. You want to get the faces, All right? Now, for this one, I want to select the geometry. So I'm going to select this. Okay, so there's my geometry, na ah, my node now. So the input of my element geometry node is element. And then the output of my select model element is element. 
Alright, so they are partners. So I'm going to click that and then connect that to my element geometry. Okay. So it's now there. So the next thing that you need to do is you just click this one because I can't see it here. I can't move my environment. So I need to shift or enable my 3D preview navigation. So I'm going to click this or control B if you want to go to that background. All right. So click that one. So you'll be able to go to that high environment. So let's zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. All right. So that's the one. That's the one. Okay. So you are now able to zoom into that particular uh, model. Okay. All right. So that's your foundation. Okay. So I'm going to select this again to go back to my graph view navigation or press control V. All right. So there you go. So the next thing that uh, you may want to do, let's say, for example, you want to get uh, a point, all right? So we will be using these points or this point for us to start our modeling or you want to, uh, let's say, you want to use this as an origin of another model that you may want to create, okay? So again, since it has something to do with selection, so you need to go back again to the select. Okay, selection, and then here you can select point. You can select point, you can select faces, you can select a face, you can select an edges or edge. All right, so in my case, so let's say I want to select a point on the face. Let's, let's say somewhere here. So I'm going to select point on face, just click that. Again, it's colored yellow. We haven't selected yet, so I'm going to select select. And then let's try to click here and you should now be able to see a point here on your model. So let's try to click this and then, then let's look for that. So there you go. So that's the point. So there's the point and then there's the point. And then if you're going to hover your pointer here, as you can see, there's the information of that particular point, which again, you can use this point for, for analyzing or you can reference another uh, modeling from this point all right now so let's say for example instead of selecting one by one so let's say for example i want to select all the uh, foundation or let's say all the wall here okay okay so what's what's this one so let me check the property first okay structural area reinforcement so let us try to select a column all right so i want to select all the columns and then place it here in my uh, dynamo environment all right so instead of selecting one by one so what we are going to do is i'm going to select here all elements of category just click that one and then we need an input here of category that's why i'm going to select here a categories all right so categories there you go so let me just hide this first. Okay. All right. So let me look for my column. So let's look for a structural column. So you'll be able to see all the categories in that particular project. So a structural column. All right. So let me select this one. Click. So that's my structural column. And then you attach that to that. There you go. And then, as you can see, if you hover your pointer, you should be, oh, there's a lot of columns out there. So, you have a 203 structural columns, okay? So, if you want that to be placed here in your uh, Dynamo model, again, you can use element by category, okay? Since the output of this is elements, so the input of this one is elements, so we can use this. So, I'm going to click this, Control c and then control V, there you go. Just disconnect this one and then connect this. There you go. And let's wait for it. You should be able to see now all the, all right, there you go. Okay. 
There you go. Okay. So let's try to use the other node here, which is all elements of family type. All right. So let's click this one. So let's try out this. Oh, for this one, the input is family type. So let's look for family type here. Let's click that. And then you can select from here. So what are the family type that you want to be selected, that you want to select? So let's say, for example, um, how about uh, this one? M concrete block 200 by 10 mm nominal. So let's click this. There you go. And then you can attach that. There you go. You hover. Oh, so there's no family type of this one. So let's change this one. Click the drop down arrow. All right, so how about we look for a door opening? So let's look for this one. Over. Again, it's empty list. Why is it like that? How about a pile cap? Let's click. All right, so we have 48 of that. And then as you can see, there is a dimension of that pile cap as well. So if you click that, you should be able to go that particular uh, pile cap okay okay you just need to change your visual style here in your Revit all right so now the last note that I want to share to you because I need you to explore your dynamo notes as well so that you'll be able to learn not only me doing it so you need to explore as well so the other one the other a node that I want to share it to you guys is this node that is called uh, under also the selection that is called get family parameter so let's click this one. Oh no not this one so it's an element so we go to elements and then go to element this one get parameter value by name alright so as you can see you have two inputs here so we have element and then, then and then the parameter. So let's say for example, let's check out this one. So this is a floor. Okay. So in our floor, what you want to do is you want to get all the floors, the floor types, the category is floor. You want to get all the area. You want that to be shown here or you want that to be extracted from Revit to your Dynamo. So you can use this one. Okay. As you can see, the input is element. So let's look for uh, selection again, since we want to select the category of floor. So I'm going to go to my selection. Okay, selection, and then all elements of category, or I can just simply copy this node here. Okay, it's the same. So I'm going to select all elements of category and then let me use a category okay and then then let's look for floors floor okay all right so floors okay and then you connect that and then you connect that element and now we need the parameter name so the parameter name that we want for our floor is area so make sure you are capitalizing it correctly and spelled it correctly so if it is capital a make sure it's capital a if it is a small letter a make sure it starts with small letter a so make sure you key in the parameter that you will get from your parameters exactly here on your dynamo all right so for us to be able to type a text so you need to get your string you remember this one so you need to get string click that there you go so there's our string so I want area, so I'm going to type area, and then click outside, and then that's it. You just connect that, and then you should be able to extract now all the area. There you go, okay? All right, so let's say, for example, you want volume, so you can, you can uh, change this to volume if you want. So volume, click outside, then it will update. Or of course, if you want to separate the, uh, uh, if you want to get separately the volume, the area, the perimeter, you can create another um, 
uh, element get parameter value by name node here and then a string okay so basically these are the basic tools that we need to use for you to be able to select an element from Revit okay so make sure you go to your selection library and then for the elements you can go to your elements library all right so hopefully you learned something from this video guys if you have uh, comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day